The 2023 Pokemon Presents has just finished and on the back of it we got a brand new Terror Raid event in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for two brand new Pokemon. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. Yes, two brand new Pokemon got revealed in the Pokemon Presents. Two brand new Paradox Pokemon, Walking Wig and Iron Leaf based off the Paradox forms of Suicune and Verizian, and they're both available in your games right now in the current Terror Raid event. So the event itself will run from today as of recording this video on February the 27th to March the 12th. So you've got a little over two weeks to take advantage of this event. So plenty of time to grab these Pokemon. They will be five star raids, so not as difficult as the seven star Terror Raids, and the Walking Wake will have a Terror type of water. This one will only be available in Pokemon Scarlet. So for you Scarlet players, this is the Pokemon Terror Raid event that you're gonna be getting in your games. Now, although the ability says hidden possible, the Protosynthesis ability is a signature ability on all Paradox Pokemon, at least the past ones. So it will be Protosynthesis on this Walking Wake. Its moves are gonna be Hydro Steam, Dragon Pulse, Noble Roar, and Flamethrower with additional moves, Sunny Day. You're not going to be able to get this in its shiny form. Unfortunately, it is shiny locked. But like I say, a five-star raid, and then we can come down to the item drops. You're just going to get a bunch of large candy. Nothing really special here. Some higher cost items in Big Pearl, Pearl String, and Nuggets, and then the Ability Capsule as well. But mainly just candies and then your Water Terror Shards for Walking Awake, which is actually a Water and Dragon type Pokemon. Pokemon, very cool Pokemon to get. But the other caveat to this is you're only going to be able to catch one of these per save file. So just like the seven star raids, you can't catch more than one of them. Even though this is a five star raid, you're only going to be able to catch one walking wake per save file. So just bear that in mind, but you will be able to do the event over and over again and battle it over again, like you have done with the other terror raids for the item drops, although they're not that great for this event. If you're in Pokemon Violet, you're going to have access to Iron Leaves, which is the paradox form of Verizian. Again, it's going to be a five star raid. It's going to have the terror typing of Psychic level 75. It's never going to have its shiny form available. It will have Quark Drive as its ability. No other ability available on it with the moves Psyblade, New Attack, Leaf Blade, Mega Horn, Swords Dance and Electric Terrain. And then the same item drops as you're going to get for the Walking Wake, but just the Psychic Terror Shards instead of the Water ones. But two brand new Pokemon that are available right now. And like I say, this event is running for a little while. It will be running from February the 27th until the 12th of March. So a little time before this event does end and plenty of time for you to get these Pokemon in your games. So to get this event in your game, you're going to have to first update your copy of your game. You're going to have to come into your home menu just make sure that you are on version 1.2.0 if you're not when you are hovering over the game icon press the plus button here it'll bring up this screen you can go to software update and then via the internet and that will update your game for you if it hasn't already been done automatically and this is a way for you just to check you're on the most current version 1.2.0 in your copy of scarlet and violet then when you've done that you come down to your poker portal and then you are going to want to get mystery gift news so you'll just come on to mystery gifts and and then come down to check Poker Portal news. This will just update you on all of your dens around the region. But unlike some of the other events, like the Spotlight Terror Raid events, where you're going to get multiple appearing around your map, you will only be getting one of the Spotlight Raids appearing on your map at one time. So uh, there we go. There is the Suicune one. You can see by the kind of Spotlight aura that it's got around it. This is the Suicune, so you can head over to this one now. Now, before we get into the raid, two good builds that I would suggest taking in to beat these Pokemon. They're not going to be that difficult. They are only five-star raids, even though they are Paradox Pokemon. But one of them is going to be Azumarill, and this is going to be predominantly for Walking Wake. Uh, it's going to resist all of its main attacking options. So Azumarill is going to be able to kind of fight back pretty easily against it. And because of the new update, 
The glitch with the belly drum player rough combination has been fixed now, so the damage output will be more consistent and you're not going to have the, the HP bar resetting over when you've knocked out the Pokemon and such like that. So the build for Azumarill, you've probably got it in your game already. If not, it is going to have the Fairy Terra typing. Shell Bell is the item. We're going to have an Adamant Nature on it with an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 attack, huge power as the ability, and then a moveset of Play Rough, Belly Drum, Misty Terrain and Aqua Jet. So that fourth slot can be changed for something like Light Screen if you want. But the Misty Terrain gonna be quite useful in this raid alone. You can get burned from things like Flamethrower, but on a whole, you're not really gonna take too much damage from the Walking Wake. You're gonna predominantly go for that Belly Drum and then hit it with Play Roughs until you're able to knock it out. Now against Iron Leaf, I picked Goldingo. It has the Terra type Ghost. It's gonna be able to resist all of the Iron Leaf's attacks. It's gonna resist Mega Horn and the Leaf Blade and not take too much damage from the Psy Blade either. And you're gonna be able to hit it for super effective damage with the ghost type attacks. We've went for a spell tag item on it and then a modest nature with 252 HP, 252 special attack and a moveset of recover, metal sound, nasty plot and the shadow ball there with the good as gold ability. So both of these builds will be down in the description below if you want to take a closer look at them. But these are just preliminary builds if you want to hop in game and do these raids online yourself. As soon as you come in against Walk and Wake, it is going to throw the sun up so that protosynthesis ability is going to activate giving it a boost in its special attack so having resistances to it is definitely helpful we'll go for the belly drum straight away as that hydro steam does come out it is boosted in the sun as well unlike other water type attacks so it does get a bit of an increase in base power uh, when the sun is active uh, kind of acting a little bit in reverse to what normal water type moves interact with the sun on the field so got the belly drum up and then we can go for that play rough and we can start doing some good damage to it it's not super effective so we're not going to be KOing it straight away but with azumarill like i say it is going to resist all of the attacks coming out from walking wake so you don't really need to worry about it too much and with the belly drum play rough you're going to be doing good damage to it every turn and consistent damage to be able to pick up the knockout like i say with azumarill it will resist most of the big attacks coming out from the walk and wake just got to be careful if when you do terrestrialize that you aren't going to resist the hydro steam uh, any longer so you will be taking a bit more damage from that but just keep in check your hp and you should be in a good point anyway and like I mentioned, if you want to get the alternative version exclusive on your copy, you're going to have to come to the Poker Portal and go to Terror Raid Battles online and find a player that will be hosting the version exclusive that you haven't got access to in your own game. You're going to have to connect to the internet and to do this, just bear in mind, you are going to have to have an online subscription to do this. Uh, you'll be able to get the event itself without an online subscription, so you'll be able to get it in your own game, but to go online and play Terror Raids with other players you're going to need that online subscription so just bear that in mind but when you come on you'll be able to see a bunch of raids being hosted by other players and you can spot the one that you want there's the iron leaf there that we'll be able to go into and we'll take part in and obviously because of its yellow symbol it just stands out as being a terror raid event over the other pokemon that are currently available for us to go into and when you manage to do that you'll have both of these pokemon walking wake here i'm just going to move my camera out of the way so we can take a closer look at it it is a water and dragon type got that terra water typing and a very nice pokemon protosynthesis ability with those moves hydro steam and like you can see the uh description of it here the user blasts the target with boiling hot water. This move's power is not lowered in harsh sunlight, but rather boosted by 50%. So a really good water type attack that it's got here and a pretty strong Pokemon as well. And then you've got Iron Leaves, which is the other one exclusive to Violet, Grass and Psychic Typing, Psychic Terror Typing, and then the move's Psyblade. And if you have a look at Psyblade here, the user rends the target with an Ethereal Blade. This move's power is boosted by 50% if the user is on an electric train. So another move that's got a different boost to it, but electric terrain here is what boosts it, playing off its Paradox ability, Quark Drive, of course, and uh, the Protosynthesis playing off Sunny Day as well. So nice moves, both signature ones that these two Pokemon have. And that's how you get these new exclusive Pokemon in your game. So like I say, the event is running for a little while. We've got until the 12th of March to take advantage of it. And of course, I've given you some examples to use going into these raids today with the Azumarill and the Goldingo. But if you'd like to 
to see a more concentrated video going on the best builds to go in against these Pokemon, please let me know down in the comment section below and we'll get something up as soon as possible on the channel. I hope you have fun in this brand new Terror Raid event in your games, getting these new Pokemon and let me know what your thoughts are more importantly than anything on Walking Wake and Iron Leaf. What do you think about these Pokemon that have just been revealed today and are available in our game? So thank you so much for tuning in, friends. If you've enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.